You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, thank you for supporting Drone You. We appreciate it. We love helping you. That's where we get our joy. It's not out of ranking number one. It's not out of being first. Being first doesn't always mean being the best, as Apple and other companies have taught us numerous times over. But what we do enjoy is doing it for the right reason, which is helping all of you. There's no greater joy than helping someone realize their confidence and their skills and doing something that they love. So thank you very much for the support and helping us help other people. With that being said, welcome to another episode of Ask a Drone You. My name is Paul. And I'm Rob. Looking forward to hanging out with you today. We do have a good question uh, today regarding an update on if you're just doing volumetric mapping, like let's say you're auditing materials, aggregates and piles for construction sites, for quarries, um, for mining companies and so much more. Let's say maybe you need to volumetrically measure the amount of tailings that are in the Swan River in Breckenridge to discern how much money could potentially be earned from those tailings if you've got 15 ounces per ton in those tailings for a gold mining company. <sighs> Something I learned this weekend. So that said, if you are into volumetric measurements, you do not want to dive into the hell of Windows computers and you want to just work on software program or on cloud based software programs to do this. What is the best? That's what we're going to be talking about today. Because we're talking about mapping, I would like to formally invite you to Drone UHQ here in lovely Colorado, where you can come to our training ranch and attend a flight mastery course to gain confidence in the systems to fly just about any drone job out there. Then we move into the mapping class, learning well the basics and complexities to provide you the most comprehensive course for drone mapping to understand how acquisition is everything because crap in equals crap out. So join us for a drone you mapping class. Check them out, thedroneu.com. You can meet me, you can meet PJ, maybe Dave, maybe John, maybe Izzy, maybe Glenn, maybe Kevin, I don't know. But you can meet us all, hang out, and you'll find out how much of a blast we are. Hey, Rob. Hey, Paul. Hey, it's Andrew again from Hudson Valley, New York. I just want to thank you two for answering my last question. It really helped out, and I appreciate what you two are doing. So please keep it up. All right. So my question for you two today is what do you recommend is the best software for drone mapping volumetrics? Now I'm on the fence between Pix4D and Drone Deploy, but I don't have a computer set up that's powerful enough to process Pix4D mappers desktop software. So I'm leaning more towards a cloud-based processor, whether that be Pix4D cloud or Drone Deploy, I'm not sure. Any insight that you two have on the differences between the two, the deliverables, uh, the accuracy, I would really appreciate. All right. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Andrew. Really appreciate it. Um, second time question asker. That always makes us very happy. It's a pleasure to hear from you again. And uh, I'm curious to know your thoughts. We know that Drone Deploy is pretty good at what he's talking about, right? And I think they've gotten better recently. Is what uh, I understood. Yeah, I mean, uh, look, when we teach the mapping class, we teach students how to, how to do volumetric measurements in PIX4D, and we also teach them how to do it in Drone Deploy. Now, there are other programs as well. Maps Made Easy does it. Um, Propeller Arrow does it. And this is where my PIX4D joke comes in. Everyone at PIX4D knows I love PIX4D, but I have to do this. So, you know, everyone's like, PIX4D, it's the best. But really, only Propeller has 4D because they cover time. Anyway, you have to clarify. And so what I mean by that is... <laughs> so we officially changed the name to PIX3D. PIX3D. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Let's Sorry, see if it Pix. sticks. No, 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 but it's true. I mean, I know PIX4D has the ortho compare just like Optelos has now. Drone Deploys had that for a long time. But what Propeller has that everyone doesn't have is this efficiency of showcasing maps over time and volumes over time and the efficiency of moving dirt. So moving 
cut and fill. Essentially, it does an efficiency report over, let's say you do eight weeks of maps, et cetera. It's going to tell you, oh, you move too much dirt from over here, not enough from over here, et cetera. So all that to be said, it could be a viable option. Now, these prices have been moving around so much in the last couple of years. And I honestly do not know what the current pricing schedules are. Um, I don't really care. You can do all this for free. I'll just let everyone know. Maybe this will bring some prices down. You can do all this for free in Open Drone Map, just FYI. Um, now, the reporting sucks in Open Drone Map, just like it does. Yeah, what you pay for. Pigs 40. Yeah, you could, but you could also open up ChatGPT 4.0 and say, hey, write me a Python code for creating a, a report based on these uh, you know, deliverables, etc., and it'll do the whole thing for you. Um, so it's just about how far do you want to take it. Um, that said, Drone Deploy is what we teach on volumes because we find it's absolutely one of the best for you know just straight up getting reports again i don't use drone deploys reports i just um screen capture the reports and put it in my own report to try to have that nice customized feel and and ability to essentially showcase a much more professional deliverable that doesn't give away the farm either and showcase the tools and whatnot that i'm using absolutely what about pix4d's cloud is it good at that Pix4D's at all? Pix4D's cloud is awesome. Um, and it is a viable solution. You can do volumes in there. When he asked about accuracies, I think something to understand is that, you know, we've worked with some of the largest construction companies in the United States. And one thing that we know that they know is that they know that these volumes are not always perfect, that they're off by a percent or two as far as, you know, um, effective auditable deliverables. So there is a margin of error. Pix4D showcases that margin of error. Some of the other apps do not showcase that margin of error. So, But even with that margin of error, they still have data that they didn't have before. A hundred percent. And I mean, we always tell that story of working with, uh, what was it? Not, it wasn't Bohanahan Houston, uh, Bradbury Stam, mm. where we did that audit for them. Mm -hmm. And they were like, yeah, we're supposed to get this much material. We measured it and they were off by like 15%. And then they called that contractor and said, look, we just measured the aggregate you provided us. And it is not as much as you said in your contract. And the guy backpedaled was like, oh, I'm so sorry. We'll send extra trucks. And then admitted to them that they were skimming off the top of every single truck. So admitted to them. That's that's what the Bradbury Stamp people told me. So, mm hmm. Damn. Hey, data gets people to be honest real fast. So. Apparently. <laughs> sorry. Guilty conscience. <laughs> so, <laughs> I didn't mean to. Uh, so that said, um, honestly, Drone Deploy is a great solution. You can do it Pix4D Cloud as well. Um, what would you use? Like, well, boom, I'm doing a job, volumetrics. What are you going to use? Well, on, he, well, he's, let's use his parameters, right? Let's imagine that I don't have a windows based computer. Let's imagine that, you know, I'm limited to my MacBook. I'm probably, I would go with drone deploy. Uh, I would go with drone deploy. You could even do this on a free trial. So, um, that's probably what I would use. And I would say that drone deploys tools have gotten better, but don't be fooled. Their tools are very good, but when it comes to anything 3D modeling, it's still not drone to play. So I know once we said that, hey, this 3D model was great, and then later we learned about what actually happened with that model. So it does great for volumetrics. In fact, I'd say it's the best. Cool. Now, if you're doing a, a construction over time and it's your project and whatnot, I think you'll be hard pressed to get the value that um, Propeller offers. So, mm, But Propeller, as we think, is pretty expensive. But yes. maybe the value's still there. Yes, it uh -huh. is very expensive. So weren't we talking about this at the experience training that Skydio has kind of started this? Uh, we can't make drones as cheap as DJI. So let's make our drones cheaper, but then charge like 30x more for software. And I feel like software companies are getting into that same game themselves. They're like, we'll sell you the drone. Yeah. You will get you the drone. I mean, I don't know. Think about like, it's just, it's SaaS, right? Uh, it's another form of SaaS and somebody like, Skydio is smart and they're, they've got the hardware and the SaaS yeah. and it makes a lot of sense. And you just think even back to cell phone providers, what did they do? They basically didn't care about the, the rock that was the hardware. Yeah. They're going to make the money on the software essentially. So totally makes sense. Totally makes sense. Yeah. hundred percent. Can't blame them. Well, anyway, uh, I think that's going to answer our question today. So, or answer this question today. 
Um, again, don't forget open drone map is a great solution. Use chat GPT because all you really need is the volume, the margin of error, the size of the area and a photo for representation. So, so don't overcomplicate it. Yeah, exactly. In fact, everyone who comes to the mapping class, we give them a template of like, just do this. This is literally like industry standard. We've done this for so many companies now. Here you go. Mm -hmm. So that said, never, ever, ever submit a report that has Whatever software you're using, Drone Deploy, Pix4D, don't ever submit a report that has the software logo on there. Why? It just takes one uh, eccentric project manager who thinks they can do it all by themselves to go out there and try doing it by themselves. And they don't know what they don't know until there's a $30 million problem and then they're fired. So <laughs> just say, be careful. Uh, that's going to do it for our show today. If you want to join us for a mapping training, as someone said at AUVSI, I took your quote unquote competitors mapping class and it literally went one tenth in depth as yours. Thank you very much for that comment. I really appreciate that. Jake, you're, you're an amazing guy. Thank you very much. And if you want to know what Jake knows, you got to join us, thedroneu.com. Scroll down, come to a mapping class. June is already sold out, but we've got July, which is almost sold out. I think it's only 20% left. And August is, I think, 30 or 40% left. If you want to come hang out in lovely Colorado, which why wouldn't you, come join us, thedroneu.com. That's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. This is Ask Drone You.